radio personality. Tongue talker, faith walker, tie pair. This woman, mighty woman of God, been on uh, the Bobby Jones Gospel Hour. She sung at Bishop Paul Martin's church, Bishop TDJ. She been all over the place. You probably heard her already. She got a new gospel album out. She got a new cookbook out. My God, what? Her hands all over. The man of God testified about kidney. We got a, a testimony right here in the building. This brother just received his transplant. Be mindful, her hands was on him too. Lord, he gonna get you. Yes. He gonna be. Yes. Oh, come on, get your feet. Yes. Give God some yes. praise. Yes. minister. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Oh, we love you, Mother God. We love you, Mother God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. I tell you, your testimony really blessed me. Yes. Um, he don't like me to tell it, but I'm gonna tell it anyway. Cause you know when God does something for you, come it's on. marvelous yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's great. Uh -huh. I remember about four or five years ago, that's my husband sitting over there, he took very sick. And I mean, he had a lot of things going on at one time, being a bad diabetic and high blood pressure and bowels backed up and this and that, and it didn't look good. But how many of you know that faith is the thing that moved God? Ooh, yeah. Amen. And so I had prayer warriors coming in, and he. And then after that, he died on the table. He cold blew. I stood outside the, because the devil was fighting me because I was traveling and doing this and doing that. And so, you know, when Satan comes in, he what he does is if he can't get you, he gonna try to come after your family. Amen. And so I just kept on pressing my way, kept on pressing my way. Even in the five years, God has blessed me to start my own record label, Powerful Praise Records. Amen. Even in all that, I just kept singing, kept producing, kept writing, kept doing this, kept on. I, sometimes I thought I was going crazy, but I just kept on, kept on, kept on. So to hear your testimony and to hear what God has done, the testimony is not for you to keep. It's Come for on. the world to know what the Lord has done in your life. So God, about maybe uh, about three weeks ago, I was going to get him some fish and some other stuff. And he's been on dialysis. And, and dialysis ain't nothing to play with. It's a very, I mean, it's scary. Okay? And so I watch him go through all kinds of processes of not being able to hold the food down, not be able to do this. And, and, I, and, I, and I remember one time being at the hospital and the doctors and the people said to me, you need to put him in a skilled nursing home. I said, a devil is a lie. I said, I'm not gonna do that. So guess what? I said, I am the skilled nursing home. They said, they said, they said, they said how are you gonna do it? I said, I don't know, but me and God, we are gonna do this thing. So he came on home and we nursed him back to help. And uh, we, uh, you know, your vows will be lived out. The for better, for worse, will yes. be lived out. Yes. And so then after that took place, about maybe three weeks ago, I was going to get something to eat from a New Orleans restaurant. And he called me on the phone. He said, you better get here. I said, what's going on? He said, St. Luke just called and said for me to come in and get a kidney. Yeah. And God blessed us because I had put him on maybe three different kidney transplant lists. And so, you know, favor is not fair. The, his doctor, Dr. Marine Khan, she and I became very good friends. She know what I do. Come to find out she was on the board to appoint the kidneys. Amen. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now. And, I, and last week I talked to her and she said, you know, I had four kidneys for him. I said, what? what? She said, I had four. She said, I didn't give him one. She said, because one person was in jail. And you know, people in jail, they have bad habits. And she yeah, said, yeah. so I didn't want to give him that one. She said, I didn't. She said, you know, my daughter, my daughter, she's an Indian woman. She said, I had another kidney for him. I said, what? She said, that person, they drank the alcohol and they drank wine. I didn't want to give him that one. And she said, then I had another one. She yeah, said, yeah, I think yeah. that one had cancer in it. She said, but unfortunately, this man, this next kid, this man was, she said, he was hit by, he was in a car accident. And you know, on your driver's license, they ask you, do you want to donate your organs to society? And so she said, and so this man decided to give his kidney and give his heart and his liver and his pancreas. She said, he never drank. He never did drugs. She said, he never smoked weed. He ate well. She said, he got the best kid in the world. Should last him another 30 years. You know. Hey, hey, play a song for me. He's done enough. And I want y'all to stand up all over the building. We came to worship the Lord. Y'all pray for my strength because I'm worn out. <laughs> but that's okay. But God is still yet faithful. He gives us strength in the midst of a storm. 
Turn it up loud, please. He's done enough. And we're gonna we're gonna dedicate this to the two kidney transplant people hey! up in here. song the song have labels on the on the box can you accommodate him please thank you every song have a label on the box i said he's done enough that's what i said it says he done it says he's done enough yes okay give me my keys please i'm so sorry i'm very sorry hallelujah the devil is a lie, yo. Amen. Come on. Go okay, here you go right here. No. Just go ahead and put that in the thumb drive and you'll see it on there. Amen. Come on, y'all. Come on. Y'all pray. Yes, come on. You see, when the, when, the, when the enemy fights you with your music, you got to be ready all kind of ways. You know? We put it on the thumb drive. We put it everywhere. Yesterday, I probably spent over $75 preparing my music. Because sometimes I go to minister and the people at some of the churches, they keep the music. <laughs> then I got to go back, right back and, and do it again. So the, the person that actually worked for me told me to put my music on a thumb drive. Will it, will, will it reflect? Yes, ma'am. Amen. So anyway, I'm going to keep on telling you, keep on doing what the Lord has called you. I enjoy the dance and the praise team. Mm -hmm. And the man with the kidney transplant, I just want to encourage you and tell you to keep on moving forward. Amen. And you can sing. God got great things for you. There are people out there, um, even when I used to sometimes go to the dialysis unit with my husband, uh, people on dialysis are so depressed. Their, their hope is gone. And, you know, your wife, we thank God for you for sticking with him. You ready now? Yes, All right. He's done enough. That's the truth. All right. Come on. Me. 
Deliver me. Now let me tell you, God began to, I write music. And as I write it, I begin to ask the Lord because I had some people in New Orleans do me some things like steal from me and lie and sold my music all over the, the country and made the money and didn't tell me nothing about it. So God inspired me to start my own record label, to do my own thing. And I began to teach myself some things and get with people who can teach me. The gospel music is a very dirty industry. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you got to be saved to stay in gospel yes, music. Yes, yes, because if you ain't compromising with people, they get mad at you. Mm -hmm. Amen. I don't do none of that stuff. I, I, I don't fool with that. I'm not trying to be funny. I mean, you know, nowadays, anything goes. You got to be very, very strong in gospel, the gospel music yes, arena. Amen. And the song is called Deliver Me. Did you find it? I found it. Deliver Me show chart. Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. All right, let me tell you something. So this song I wrote because I was going through things from a child and there was things I held and I didn't tell anybody about. And I told God to deliver me, amen? You know, we as Christians, we put on a church face, <laughs> but at the end of the day, we be hurting way deep in the inside. And, and don't get it twisted, it wasn't no, no type of molestation or anything like this. Just, things that I had going on, just going that I keep just going through life adversely. Yes. Amen? And so this song I want to minister to you, it's, it, it's a song that brings deliverance to your soul. I'm charting currently on the Nielsen BDS station, on two different stations. BDS is when you, I pay for radio services, and so, which means my music is being played all, all over the world. Amen. I am also on several different national outlets like YouTube and I'm on Spotify and CD Baby and there's about six, 600 outlets where you can go and download the music yeah. and listen to the music. And so from there, I've also did, since I started my record label a year ago, I've recorded about five different singles. Deliver Me has six, I'm sorry, it's a full CD. And there's a, the other CDs that I have, Wait On You, I did something with V. Mike McKay and I asked him, V. Mike McKay actually produced all of Yolanda Adams' music, and I, he narrated a song for me called In the Midst of a Storm. So everything I sing, guess what, I lived it. <laughs> I promise you, I lived it. I hope this song blesses you today. It's called Deliver Me. Listen to the words. Peace, 
completely at the age of 16 years old and the pain still remains. Thank you. 